Good morning, good morning. Great is our God, for he is greatly to be praised. Thank you so much for joining me for Word Empowerment Wednesday. And I thank you for those of you that thought it not robbery to wake up early this morning. As the psalmist declare in Psalm 63 and 1, he says, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I see you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faith for you and a dry and thirsty land with no water. I just wonder this morning, are there any thirsty people, my God, because we can have that living water. We don't have to thirst anymore. Jesus said to anyone that come after him, let him not thirst, but let him come to him. Amen. We thank God for allowing us to see another Wednesday morning another morning where we can come and share with you what I believe the Lord would have me to say to you on this morning. If you would, I would ask that you would turn to Jeremiah chapter 1 and we're going to read verses 11 down through verse number 14. I am going to read this out of the New Lip translation version again that is jeremiah chapter 1 verses 11 down to verse number 14 and the word says this that then the lord said to me look jeremiah what do you see and i replied i see a branch from an almond an almond tree and the lord said that's right and it means that i am watching i will certainly carry out all my plans. Good morning, sis. Then the Lord spoke to me again and asked, 
what do you see now? And I reply, I see a pot of boiling water spilling from the north. Yes, the Lord said, for the tarot from the north will boil out on the people of this land. I want to use for a thought this morning that follow God's lead. Follow God's lead. Um, in case you didn't know or haven't taken notice, um, and parenting is a form of leadership. And to be an effective leader, uh, we as parents must be able to lead and to not only lead, but also to apply. So as parents now, we have been gifted the opportunity to lead and to guide our children in the way that they should go and as we look at parents and we look at leadership an effective leader inspires they motivate those in whom they lead so as a parent it is our duty good morning to teach our children what's right and what is wrong and oftentimes we find that even some of our children will listen and you're going to find that they're going to be some that's going to challenge us but in any event it it is our job it is our duty we, because we have commissioned by god to train to nurture to god and to love them and so it is as we look at the text this morning we find that there was a boy and whom God had called to be a prophet. He was chosen. And to be chosen simply mean that God has given him a duty. He had a purpose for his life. In fact, God has a blessing and a purpose for each and every one of us that are listening to and the sound of my voice. God said in Deuteronomy 30 and 19, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set you life and and death blessing and cursing therefore he even tells us to choose life that that both and that seed may live in other words god has a destiny for our lives and it's up to us to choose to walk in our destiny or not to walk in it so here we find that god had chosen and he had handpicked jeremiah in fact, his name simply means Jehovah has appointed. His father's name was Ilkiah, which means my portion is Jehovah. So as we see now that Jeremiah came out of a priestly family, which meant that he meditated on the services of God, the religious services of God. And at this particular time of Jeremiah's life, he is living in a time when judah was under attack judah lived under constant threat of an attack because of the power that was gained from assyria then egypt and then family babylon so jerusalem now has came under attack when babylon destroyed it and led most of the people into exile and i know this morning that some of you feel like you are under attack but just stay with me for one moment. I got some good news for you. So here we find now that as a boy, God began to speak to Jeremiah. And he tells him that he knew him before he was fashioned in his mother's womb. Before he was even birthed out of his mother's womb, God had consecrated him, which means that he was set apart. He had been ordained, which means he was given given he was put he was set for god and not only was he set apart but god had ordained him to be a prophet to be a spokesman to the nation but when god began to speak this to jeremiah he does like most of us to do he responds and say god i am not qualified and it wasn't that he said that he was not going to do it he didn't say that but jeremiah lacked confidence within himself and so he began to declare unto the lord listen god i can't do this i am a youth i am a boy they're not going to listen to me but listen what god says to him god said you will go 
to all that I send you, and whatever I command you, you will speak. In other words, Jeremiah, you will follow my lead. So he tells him now, be not afraid or to be fearful of their faces. Why? Because I, God, am with you. And then the Lord began to assure him by touching his mouth. My God, God had now sent Jeremiah over the nations and over the kingdoms to do what? To root out, to pour down, to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. So now God gives Jeremiah a lesson. And his first lesson is, what do you see? Mm. Some of us need to go get our eyes checked to see what do we really see. And Jeremiah began to answer. He said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Now, that is very significant. Why? Because the significance now of the almond tree was that it was well known as to be the first tree to bud in the spring. It oftentimes was the first tree, but was also the last tree to bear fruit during the barley harvest. So this almond tree now was a symbol of a lengthy process. My God, the bud, the flower will bud and then it will be a flower. But guess what? It, it takes time for that fruit to come into fruition. And so this is what God was trying to allow Jeremiah to see. Listen, this tree is going to take some time. It is a process, my God. The things that God has allowed us to walk through. Listen, I heard someone say this a long time ago. God never gives us anything hard that we cannot bear. He knows us. He knows what we can handle, my God. And so what God I was warning Jeremiah was the fact that yes this almond tree it takes time there is a process for the fruit to come forth but guess what he lets Jeremiah know that I'm watching mm, I am watching the almond tree is derived from the Hebrew word watchful Mm. You don't have to worry, Jeremiah, because I watch over my word. And whatever God says, guess what? It is going to come to pass. You just need to follow God's lead. Then God gives him a second lesson. And he asks him again, what do you see, Jeremiah? Jeremiah said that he saw a boiling pot and it was facing away from the north. This was a sign or an indication of destruction and judgment that's going to be poured upon Judah and the north because they have forsaken God. So then the Lord tells Jeremiah to do what? Prepare yourself mm, and wise. I did a teaching on yesterday. And we talked about how God gives us warning before destruction. But again, he tells Jeremiah, do not be dismayed at their faces. Because guess what? They're going to fight against you. You're going to come up against opposition, my God. But they will not prevail. Let me speak that into somebody's life this morning. You're going to come up against opposition. The Lord has already given us the blueprint through his word of what is to come. We are living in the last days and you can go to Matthew 24 and you will find that God said this is just the beginning of birth pain. But don't worry. Don't worry. Why? Because God said, as he told Jeremiah, I am with you. And so it is. God wants me to encourage you this morning to follow his lead. Mm. 
in order to have peace, in order to have joy. And I'm not talking about being happy because happy means I'm happy because there's something happening in my life. But joy is the kind of joy that you have, the kind of happiness that you can have that the world don't understand. But when you begin to follow God's lead, my God, he will take care of you. Romans 8, Paul says this, there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. Why? For the law of the spirit of life has set us free. We are free, my God. Why? Because of the life, the death, and the resurrection of our Savior, who the Lord has set free. Guess what? It's free indeed. We do not have to worry about the cares of this world. If you want to have joy, if you want to enjoy freedom, you got to learn how to follow God's lead. Life is filled now with ups and downs. And many times we have that desire to move ahead of God, but we got to learn how to wait. Just as God showed Jeremiah the almond tree, there's a process. You got to wait. My God, it's the first tree to come out. It's the last tree to bloom, but you got to learn how to wait in the Lord and follow his lead. The psalmist declare in Psalms 37 and 7, it said, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about the wicked, their wicked schemes. It has been said that the best things in life comes to those who learn how to wait. God wants us to know that it is a process. Isaiah 40, 29 and 31 says this, that God gives power to the faint and to him who has no might, Guess what? He increases our strength. Even the you, as much energy, as much they got within them, they're going to faint and be weary. And even the young men will become exhausted. But they who wait, if we will learn how to wait for the Lord, the word of the Lord says that God will renew our strength. We'll be able to mount up an eagle whenever the storm is coming. The eagle has eagle enough keen insight that it can fly above the storm and that is what God wants us to know it's a process and we can mount up with wings of an eagle and guess what we can run and not be weary we can walk and we will not faint so it may seem as though that you are not going to make it and that you feel as though that you are unqualified but guess what God whatever God God has called, he has qualified you to do it. As David declared, you may walk through some valleys, my God, the valley of the shadow of death, but don't fear. Don't fear any evil. Why? Because God is with you. He is leading and he is guiding you with his rod and his staff. And guess what? That rod and that staff comforts us. God will even prepare a table for you, even in the presence of your your enemies. You just got to go to the table and enjoy the meal. Why? Because God has prepared it, my God. And he will take care of your enemies. He will not allow you, my God, to be succumbed to the enemy, but he will allow you to eat and have plenty. It is your job to follow his lead and take heart. God said in Isaiah 42, 5 and 9, he said, I have created the heavens. It is I that stretched them out. It is I that have made the earth and allow it to come forth. It is I that has given breath and spirit to those that walk in it. God declare, I am God. I have called you, my God. You can't fit in when, oh God, that's the fit in. You can't fit in. This is why it's a challenge for you. This is why it's so hard for many of us because we're trying to fit in places that God has not ordained us to be in, my God. So God said, I am 
the Lord. I called you to righteousness. I will take you by your hand and I will keep you. I will give you as a covenant for the people, a light for the nation. God said, open up your eyes. Those that are blind, bring out those who are in prison, those who are in dungeon. We have been commissioned, my God, to do, to be the light in this dark, dying world. God says, I am God, that my name will be glorified. So behold now the former things that you see, oh God, have come to pass. But guess what? I am declaring a new thing. We just got to learn how to follow oh god god's lead now you may not be in agreement with what is going on with the things you might not even agree with the election that happened on yesterday but i stopped by to tell you even in all of that we serve a risen savior who is always in charge he holds everything in the palm of his hand so i just stopped by to let you know to follow god's lead don't allow your heart to be troubled because if you believe in god you believe also in jesus and and Jesus said that in my father's house are many rooms. If it was not so, I would have told you that I've, and I've gone to prepare a place for you. And if I go and to prepare a place for you, guess what? He said, I will come again and will take you to myself that you may be also follow the lead of god jeremiah's first lesson was to let him know that god was with him it wasn't going to be easy this process life is not easy we're not going to live on a bed of rose it is a process and to every jeremiah that's listening to me that feels unqualified that has been ostracized that feel like there's no hope god is with you god assured him guess what whatever he says he is going to do let me say that one more time whatever god says he is going to do when god God makes a promise we can count on it. Man will fail you. They will say one thing out of their mouth and do another. But we serve a God that will do exactly what he says he is going to do. God is not a man and which he should lie, nor the son of man and which he shall repent or change his mind. Has God said it? Guess what? He is going to do it. So all you have have to do this morning is to follow the lead of God. Follow God's lead on your job. Follow God's lead in your home. Follow God's lead in the grocery store. Follow God's lead even through this election. Follow God's lead. I know what I see, but guess what? I know in whom I believe and I know who holds my future. And that is who? Jesus Christ, my God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you and we honor you. God, we give you, oh God, we give you praise this morning. We thank you, Lord God, for this word. We thank you, Father God, that we don't keep our eyes on the right or to the left, but God, we keep our eyes steady on you. We thank you, Lord God, that you are with us. You said in your word that you would be with us from the from the beginning even to the end of time we thank you for being alpha we thank you for being omega we thank you lord god because our lives are in your hand we thank you lord god that the thoughts and plan that you have for us are good and not of evil we know what we see but god we thank you that even in your word oh god it does an open tree there's a process there's something that we got to go through but God, I thank you, Lord God, that even in that, if we learn how to hold on and to hold out, God, everything will work out for our good. So God, we thank you this morning.
coming and we bless you. Now, God, we come against the spirit of backlash. Oh, God, delay or immediate. We counsel every spirit of retaliation. Oh, God, every trick and scheme of the enemy. And God, we seal this word and we seal this prayer by the blood of Jesus. And we say that it is so. And so it is in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Listen. Tonight, I have put it in the comments um, at the beginning of the post, so hopefully everyone will be able to see it. But join us tonight um, by way of conference call at 8.30 as we come together touching and agreeing. The number to call is 1-267-807-9576. Again, that number is 1-267-807-9576. The access code is 66. It's zero zero one five pound. If you have any prayer requests, please submit them to me by way of email or by way of text message by five o'clock p.m. Listen, I am believing God. I am believing God on your behalf because why? We serve a God that cannot ever fail. My God, if you can join us tonight at 830, please join us back on Monday night for Bible study. We are in the um, the gospel according to St. John. We're in chapter number 12. Listen, if you can't join us on Monday nights because you have other obligation, please contact me and I will give you the callback number so that you can call back. Listen, follow God's lead. I know what you see it's a process but if you follow god's lead you would never ever go wrong jeremiah had to get uh, get confidence within himself with not in himself but confidence in the god in whom he served my god because god had to let him know there's a process but i'm with you that's the problem with many of us we got to get confidence not within ourselves but confidence in the god in whom we serve and we walk out what god has called us to do my god listen um oh i almost forgot don't forget we are wearing blue we are wearing blue for the month of november for diabetes awareness month i have set up a page it's called sfog ministry anyone can join anyone can post and so um please feel free to post or, or to um make comments or to get tips for diabetes um we're we're going to keep that page open for awareness so that you can post i did this page separately because i wasn't sure if you was able to do anything on this page without me allowing you to do so so that's why i created the group page so please join our group also um be please remember our veterans on this coming friday um it is veterans day please remember our veterans and um hopefully i'll be able to post something concerning the veterans on friday if i remember listen something great is going to happen for you follow god's lead you will never go wrong our confidence is not in us but our confidence is in the god and whom we serve and we know that god says that he will never leave us nor forsake us god bless you and have a blessed and wonderful day in the lord